Oh my god. Oh my god, this is crazy shit, dude. We're at Mueller. There you go. What's up friends? It's been 15 hours since we last had electricity here in Austin, Texas. And we are preparing as if there's gonna be no electricity for the rest of the evening. Um, so what we did is moved all my plants away from the window so that way they're not freezing. We have two smokeless fire logs left. We bought this a while ago, wishing we had more but did not plan ahead because we didn't think the power was gonna go out. And then we have a box, not even, maybe like five or six logs that we found in the shed that are hopefully dry. We're going to start burning these around seven o'clock at night. Um, so that way we can try to get at least a little bit of fire throughout the evening. We have the puppies here. They're going to sleep closest to the fire. We're probably going to move them a little bit closer to our bed so they're not too, too close. But we to make sure they're warm. Honda's wearing three layers underneath. He has two jackets on. <laughs> and then he has his little sweater underneath. Sweet old man. He's cold. He was shivering earlier. And then we moved our bed from the guest room into the living area. Because this is the warmest room of the house. And we have like four blankets. Because we got one, two. We got two sleeping bags that are rated for below zero. And then we got this blanket on top. So we're planning to sleep out here tonight. Right, Sarab? Also, for some warmth, we've been boiling water because there's heat on the bottom and then the warm water on top, or the hot water is hot on the top. We're probably gonna boil another one later in the evening when it gets a lot colder. Right now in the house, it's like 55 degrees, so it's not unbearable, but it will be getting colder. We're now gonna move all of the food from our fridge and our freezer into the garage because our fridge hasn't had power and electricity and we're afraid everything's gonna melt. It's supposed to be eight degrees or lower tonight. Um, so we're just gonna move everything to the garage because it's cold in there and it's much colder than our fridge and freezer. You can see here our food is outside. So even though the power is out, Brandon is running the generator and he's getting his coffee. It's my power, I get my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Austin Electric can't stop us now. Well, we're using gas, so we're not really using anyone's power but ours. It's running off of our gas generator. So luckily, Brandon's toys are coming into use. <laughs> <laughs> All of my toys. We're keeping the milk in the garage because it's colder than our fridge right now. All right, let's get that latte art. What do you name this masterpiece? Flaccid penis. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Saravi sleeping on our bed. Hahanda sleeping back there. They got matching jackets. 
Never thought we'd wear them in Texas. Well, I have our carbon monoxide detector because we're sort of burning a little bit of propane over there, burning some stuff here uh, just to keep us warm. And this will alert us if we're about to die. So that's a pretty solid thing to have. Very yeah. Good. We're actually very prepared for uh, this, this uh, non-electric situation since we go camping often. <laughs> This not electric situation. Yeah. This power outage. Thing? <laughs> oh power God. outage. So yeah, we're really prepared here. Show the people the front. What? Of the monoxide detector. Carbon monoxide. Oh. Yep. Yep. So we'll put that near where we sleep because we do have a lot of gas things running. It's only 6.30 p.m. But we're hot potting on the V-Bag. We're having... <laughs> hot pot tonight. There's the meats over there. A very simple hot pot tonight. But it'll be delicious. Oh, and we got this sake, which is really funny because it says, uh, I don't know if you can read this, but it says Snow Beauty. Perfect for the occasion. We got a nice fire going. Can you give me my phone? Yeah. Hello. Hello. It's a beautiful fire. Yeah. So we, tell us about where this firewood was. It's in the shed the previous owner left it, but for next time we're always going to stash two bundles of firewood in the shed and six of the, no, the smokeless ceramic logs. But the cool part about our fireplace is that it has this little like propane starter for it to make sure that the flame starts well and it's not a ton of fire but in a situation like this when you don't have electricity you just have gas it actually works really well so we're yeah. pretty happy here's and honda the temperature in the house is actually going up right now because we insulated the windows oh yeah and show the, the window insulation so it's hard to see but this window doesn't have we don't have blinds here so we just took a giant blanket and we like just cover the window and it's made a huge difference. Yeah. Now in full, we drank a bottle of sake. I'm gonna get into the whiskey. And uh, yeah, you know, just think of it as camping, which is one of our favorite things to do anyway, so. We're just camping in our house. What are we reading at? 59.9, pretty much 60 degrees. Hell yeah. Pretty good with no power on a night Hell where yeah. We're using a, a meat thermometer. Got the meat, <laughs> the meat out. To measure the temperature. Uh, how warm is my dog? Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> 64. 64. 65. Damn, he's insulated. Oh, that boy. That boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're toasting up some cookies. How are the cookies? Cookie. <laughs> we over toasted the cookies so yeah it's been like 20 hours now without electricity hopefully it'll come back on tomorrow and if not it's all good we'll do it all over again <laughs> good morning everyone it's about 8 a.m we've now are at 31 hours without electricity it's gotten really cold um the thermostat says 52 but this morning when I checked and I woke up at 7 o'clock, it was at 50. Um, we have the water boiling. I think that really helped. This is our sleeping situation last night. We are burning our last log um, this morning to try to warm up the house a little bit. HEB is going to open at noon today. So we're going to go at 1130 and wait in line or whatever is going to look at, at HEB to hopefully get a little bit more logs. Um, if not at HEB at Home Depot. It's really cold in the house now, <laughs> but we're going to try to make the best of our situation. It's about nine o'clock now and I'm going to make breakfast. I saw also that we had some bananas and I thought it'd be really yummy to make some banana pancakes. So that's what we're going to make. Um, we're all dressed in our thermals, so it's not as bad as it was this morning. Um, let's see, latest temperature read. Woo! 54! So that's exciting. I think it helps because now we have two pots of water boiling 
and we have our log going. So it's getting warmer. Just finished making some chocolate banana pancakes and they look amazing. Can't wait to eat them. Still at noon and below freezing all afternoon long, even though we're gonna experience a heavy dose of sunshine. It starts to cloud up late today. We're taking Honda's temperature inside the sweater. You <laughs> put the basting thermometer or the cooking thermometer. Honda, how warm are you? Let's take a look. Honda, stand still. Stand still. Ah. He's said his situation got worse. 91.7. It's 11 o'clock. We're going to HEB. Yep. The roads are pretty icy. We walked Very. to our neighbor's house to see if they needed anything. Um, we just really need to get some firewood. We'll be all right. We got the puppies in the back because it's warmer with us than it will be in the house. We'll give you an inside look of H-E-B. The roads here are okay because I think people have been driving on it so it's melted. The roads right outside our driveway were definitely just solid ice. As you can see from this gas station, our neighborhood still has no power. The car in front of us does not have four wheel drive. Losing control. Rodney's doing good though. Keeping a distance from him. There's a truck behind us too, but they're keeping a good distance. This is the park we went to yesterday to go sled. You can't really see it behind the trees, but there's a really nice hill back there. Oh my god, the line to HEV is like so freaking long already and it's only 1118. See there's ice everywhere. Oh yeah. I don't think we'll be getting any firewood today. Okay, we're outside of HEV. It's pretty crazy. The line is like so long. It's because HEV was closed yesterday, so no one could get groceries or anything. And yeah, so today the line is like insanely long. Uh, we're really hoping to get some firewood, but if not, that's okay. It's 11.38 right now. The line is sneaking all the way around and back over. And there's another line that you can't see here that goes into HEV, so. All right, it's 12, 15. We see the door. We're close to getting into HEV. We're inside HEV now. Unfortunately, there's no firewood. As you can see behind me, the bread aisles are completely bare. It's pretty crazy. Feels like COVID all over again. Okay, we just finished going to HEV. I didn't take a lot of video footage inside of HEV because it was crazy. Like, just insanity in there. So now we're gonna go pick up some firewood from everyone who's generously donated it to us. We are at our friend's place. She's so gracious. She is letting us have a whole box of firewood, which is amazing. These are really great because we can burn them at night and not worry because they don't pop or anything. We finally made it home after spending most of the day out on the road. Just trying to collect things so we can prepare for the next few days. We really don't anticipate power coming back until Friday. So we just went to go get some groceries for our neighbors since we we're going to go to HEB anyways. And we picked up some extra wood. Our friend Tyson gave us four of his Duraflame logs. We had some neighbors that were really kind and spared us a bundle of logs there. And then we had another friend who gave us these um, logs that are from Pine Mountain. These are really nice with the Duraflame ones too. They're the ones where you just kind of light it and it's totally cool. Um, they contain themselves because it doesn't spark. And then we also got some smoking chunks um, from HEB just in case we need it. Um, but this will definitely be in case of an emergency. We probably won't use these unless we absolutely have to. Brandon went over to a friend's place to take a hot shower who still has power. Um, and I'm at home. I'm going to make some wontons. So it'll be something really nice and warm to eat in the evening. We're enjoying our nice, hot, warm meal. Oh, yeah. Made dumplings. And we have some Napa cabbage in there. But then we also put 
Um, we cheated. We put a ramen packet in there because we really wanted noodles in here too. But it feels really nice to eat something warm on a cold day like this. It's 9.30 and it's time for me to go to bed because there's really nothing else to do. I don't really have good internet on my phone. Checked all of Instagram. What's up, babe? <laughs> Am I in the vlog? Yeah, he's in my vlog. Good morning, day three without electricity. It's been 50 plus hours. We're doing fine. We have a nice fire going. Um, We have a lot of firewood, collected a lot of it last night. One of Brandon's friends, Matt, gave us 20 pounds of firewood. So thank you so much for the firewood. And then Brandon's friend, Denise, and then our friend Tyson also gave us a lot of smokeless logs that we can burn through the night so really grateful for all the help running the generator this morning so brandon can make his coffee we're gonna charge up our devices and we're having banana chocolate pancakes again because why not it is 12 34 in the afternoon on wednesday and we finally have electricity you would not believe how excited I was to hear the microwave and the oven go off because there's power. Checking the thermostat in the house. We are at 52 right now. I turned the heat down to 60 so that way we don't overload the heat. Uh, but really, honestly, anything is better than where we at currently. We survived 58 hours without power in freezing conditions and pretty comfortably too so i'm pretty happy with how we handled the situation and then... well look at this what's oh, up nice warm power on okay we're really excited show me your dance moves look at that man go <laughs> it feels good Yes, we're going to take down this giant blanket that we've had the past few days. Let there be light! <laughs> Oops, it got stuck in the corner. Oh, oh my gosh, it feels so good. Wanted to get some footage of our outdoors before it melts in the next few days. Look at these icicles, they're crazy. A beautiful front lawn. All of our plants look very dead. Hopefully they'll come back to life. Look at that. That's so crazy. It hasn't got so cold here where the branches freeze. It's actually very beautiful. Here's our front yard. Our beautiful cactus looks so sad. Oh, they're so sad looking. They're all falling over. We really hope that the cactus didn't die. This little berry stained the snow. It's seven o'clock, which means that we've had six and a half hours of electricity. We are so grateful. It feels so nice to have a warm house. I was able to take a shower. We drove up north to deliver some firewood to our friends. Overall, we are just so grateful that we have power because you never really know what life is like without power until you don't have any. And especially in this cold, it could be really dangerous. Throughout this entire ordeal, I was really grateful that we had shelter the entire time. Even though it got cold, we were able to sleep in a bed with blankets, with our dogs. We had food and water, and it just really made me think about all of the people who don't have these type of luxuries, who are just living outside really cold in this type of weather, and it just makes you really grateful for what we have. I wasn't planning to vlog any of this stuff until we came home on the first day and realized that we weren't going to have power for the next few days. And I was just thinking, how fun would it be to record a video as a memory so when we look back at this many years from now, we can remember everything that happened. So with that said, just thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it, you enjoyed seeing what Brandon and I were up to in the past few days. And yeah, so thanks and catch you guys later.